So today we are doing something completely different. We're doing activewear from Halara. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia and today I am bringing you a Halara plus size try on and review of some of their active wear. Today's video is sponsored by Halara, but if you watch my vlogs, then you already know that I am on a health journey and I am taking on a more active lifestyle. This partnership could not have come at a better time because Halara, they specialize in active wear. I have worked with Halara in the past, but I've got a few more pieces to show you. Some of them that surprised even me. I am taking one for the team here and I'm wearing clothing that you don't see me wearing here on my channel. So please be kind in the comments and let me know your thoughts though, because pretty much everything that I'm bringing you in today's video is amazing. I will have everything linked in the description bar down below for you. I will also pin it to a comment here on this video. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the first piece. So the first piece that I want to show you is this little tennis dress that I picked up. I was so surprised that I liked this little dress as much as I did. First of all, when I pulled it out of the packaging, I thought it was going to be shorter than what it actually was. Being five feet tall, the little skirt actually hits me right at the knees. Now this little dress is perfect if you want to pick up a racket sport like pickleball or badminton or tennis or anything like that this is a perfect little dress for that or if you like to play golf this is a really cute little golf dress as well it does have a built-in short it does have pockets on either side of the leg of the short so that if you've got tennis balls or golf balls or whatever you're putting into your pockets you know you've got those pockets there for that or if you want to put your phone in there or id if you're at the gym or going for a walk or keys anything like that so so those two little pockets are pretty darn convenient. Um, it is a crisscross style. It does have adjustable straps on it, so you can make adjustments. It does have padding that you can remove. I didn't take the padding out because I couldn't find the little removal hole. Personally, I don't like padding in my exercise gear because I don't have the bust to fill the padding. And so you can tell that this padding is a little bit lumpy and bumpy underneath, which I, I didn't like. And I thought, well, maybe over time this will go away. But then I found that it does have a little hole to remove the padding. So so I took the padding out. Most of all, I like the fact that the fabric is so stretchy and comfortable. Now this is a little bit thicker than some of the other fabrics that I've had from Halara as far as like their exercise leggings. The one thing I will say about the dress though is that it is a one piece so you have to put it on and if you have to go to the bathroom you have to take the entire thing off. It actually comes on and off very easily. Because it has the built-in shorts you have to step into the dress but the the fabric is so stretchy and the strap are so stretchy that it's easy to pull it off of your shoulders and down if you have to go to the bathroom. Now there are some Halara dresses that I've seen that do have an opening in the back that allow you to pull the pant down from the back side so that you can easily use the bathroom but this is not one of those. You'll have to take the entire thing off. For me personally I've worn jumpsuits and I've worn other dresses and sometimes when I wear shapewear I don't like messing with snaps so I will get completely naked in the bathroom. I don't have a problem with that. I'm in a closed stall. Nobody's going to see me. So I have no problem <laughs> stripping down to nothing in order to use the bathroom. So this is not an issue for me, but I did want to mention that in case that is an issue for you. I really like this little dress, guys. I'm going to be wearing it like crazy going on walks. I could even ride my Peloton bike with this little dress on, I think. I think it would not get in the way at all of the pedals or any of the moving parts of the bike bike. And so this is going to be a staple in my workout wardrobe because I really, really love it. And I mean, like I said, I'm even comfortable enough going out for walks in this little dress. And if I played racket sports, totally would wear this little dress. It's very cute. The fabric is really super soft, but thick enough to hold things together without showing things through and without being uncomfortable. I have used activewear in the past where it is so compressive. It's not exactly comfortable. This I have moved around in. I'll show you a couple of pieces that I have been actively using for working out um, because I was trying them out for this haul and I really, really like them. So let's go ahead and talk about those. So the next piece that I wanted to talk about are these little workout pants. These are leggings, workout leggings, I should call them. 
These I have been using actively for working out and I really, really love them. These are my favorite workout leggings. They are really, really comfortable. They stretch really nicely without being overly compressive and yet they hold things together. The fabric is really nice and soft to the touch. They go down to the ankle. They do have a crisscross in the front, but they are a higher rise. So um, the last Halara haul, I had some of that had more of a medium rise and I didn't really like the way that fit, but the higher rise ones, they fit really, really well. These have little pockets here on the side so you can put keys, your phone, whatever you need to carry with you. You can have it on you. I've been wearing these riding my Peloton bike and they are so good. They're not overly compressive, but they're compressive enough. They're very soft. They're very comfortable. And while I don't condone athleisure, but I understand that everyone's lifestyle is different. And so if you do like wearing leggings out and about, I would highly recommend that you grab a pair or two of these because they're so comfortable. And I have to say they're probably some of the easiest leggings to put on. I've got leggings uh, from other brands that it almost feels like you're putting on shapewear because it's so compressive and they're so hard to get on these I could step into these and then just pull them up I don't have to roll them up I don't have to do anything special to get my leg in there or anything they are so incredibly stretchy and comfortable and yet you can't see through them and they just they're awesome I cannot speak highly enough of these I actually really need to pick up a few more of these in different colors I did pick up the navy blue in these because well I love navy as you can tell. And so, um, yeah, absolutely love, love, love these pants. Now I do want to make an honorable mention of the little top that I am wearing. This is actually from my last collaboration with Halara and it is a little crisscross, uh, top that is in a really pretty shade of lilac, which is why I like wearing them with the navy blue pant because they look really good together. This has a built-in bra. It did have padding. I don't like the pads, so I took them out, but it does have a shelf bra in there. And then it's got this really cool crisscross in the back that is actually quite nice. It's very cooling. Because I work out at home, I don't really mind so much about having an open back or anything like that. But even still, if you like wearing this type of thing to the gym, this is a really nice one. I really do like it. I don't feel that it looks unflattering in any way or anything like that. And the top fits great. Now, these do not give you high impact support. So if you're going to be doing something like running or any kind of jumping, these are not going to give you the support that you need for that. The fabric is compressive and it is thick, but I wouldn't say that this is a high impact kind of uh, bra top to wear you would probably want to find something that is intended for that kind of high impact. But because what I do is all low impact, I do either some weight training, Pilates, or I use my uh, Peloton bike, then these are perfect for those medium to low impact activities. Another one of my favorites, and it is this beautiful flowy skirt. Now this skirt is intended to use for those of you gals who like to do dance, whether that be modern dance, ballet, jazz, flamenco, hula, you know, whatever kind of dance. This is a beautiful, beautiful skirt for those types of activities where there's a lot of movement and you would want to wear a skirt like this just because of the aesthetic of it. I really, really like this skirt though for just everyday wear. This skirt is made of the same kind of stretchy knit, but not quite as thick as the leggings. I would say this is a thinner grade of that same fabric, but it's got a really beautiful flowy design. It has a wrap style to it, and it does have a built-in short, which I think is excellent because if you're running around and a, and a gust of wind blows and your skirt blows up, you at least have a pair of boy shorts on underneath to kind of cover everything up. Not to mention the fact that it makes these so much easier for a dance type of activity when you're doing that kind of workout or that kind of activity. It really does make for a beautiful, fun piece to wear for a workout like that. Me personally, I don't do any kind of dance 
but I can totally see me wearing this here at home. I could wear it out. I would wear it with a cardigan. I would wear it with a cute little tank top, like I'm showing you here with the purple, that lilac top. It's just a really, really pretty skirt. And I could so see myself wearing this throughout the summer because it's gonna keep you nice and cool because of the fabric. It is a kind of like a stay dry kind of fabric and very airy, very light. And with the built-in short, it's a one and done kind of skirt that I don't have to worry about. I could even go out grocery shopping in this, wear it, you know, on vacation. I mean, this is just a really, really great little skirt to have. And I like the fact that it's got the short in there also because there's no chafing, no chafe worry when you're on vacation. If you're in a hot climate, you don't have to worry about that. So really, really great piece. I love it. It does have the seam on the, on the waistline. I don't see that that's unflattering. I could definitely wear it with this little tank top that I have on. It would look fantastic. So highly, highly recommend this little skirt. I love it. And I can't wait to start wearing it. This is definitely going in the vacation capsule, which by the way, thank you so much to all of you who have participated in that poll on my community tab. You can bet that there's going to be a vacation capsule wardrobe as well as a vacation outfits lookbook. I was going to publish both videos and I decided to make the poll easy one, the other, or both just because I wanted to get a gauge as to which one would go first. And it looks like vacation capsule is winning. So that one is going to be the first one that you'll see coming out here soon. And I'm probably going to put this into my vacation capsule because it is a really great little vacation skirt. The next top is another fast favorite, and it is this cute little tank top. It has some really nice thick straps, but what I really love about it is the back. The back has got this really pretty little crisscross detail that I think is so nice. I love it because it gives a little bit of a cutout, but it's not over overly so, meaning you don't see a lot of the lumps and bumps that are happening in the back. And I can appreciate that. I really do like this top. I can't wait to start wearing it for workout. It does have pads. You can take the pads out. I just really, really like this one. I think that it is so, so, so nice. It is really comfortable to wear. This one, more so than the lilac one, is not a high impact kind of top. You don't want to wear this for running, for jumping, but you can definitely wear it for softer activities like yoga, Pilates, spin bike, you know, weight training even, as long as there's not a lot of uh, jumping that's going to be happening if you're looking for support. I would even wear this out and about in regular life too with like, say for instance, the navy blue skirt, like you see me modeling it here, because I don't think that this is showing off too much of the back flab. And that's always a concern for me. I don't want to do that. And so this actually keeps the back flab kind of camouflaged. I don't think that it looks bad. And so really, really like it. I'm so happy that I picked it up. The next top, on the other hand, does show off some back flap, which I'm not, you know, this I would only wear for working out here at home. I don't think that I would wear it out and about. Um, it is a really nice little halter racer back kind of um, top that again, not built for high impact activities. These are for the softer activities, but definitely a really, really nice little top that um, fits comfortably. It is made of the same stretchy fabric as the other black top that I showed you about the same level too. It's not overly compressive, but it is nice and holds things together. The back though has got an opening on it and that I am worried would show a lot of the back rolls. And so if that's a concern for you, do keep that in mind. As you can see, if I pull it down, it will definitely show the back rolls. But if you keep it pulled up, then it won't. But um, when you're being active, sometimes you can't control the way the clothing starts to move around on you. So just keep that in mind that if you are self-conscious about your back, then you might want to, um, you might want to skip on this one. But since I work out at home, it is not an issue for me. If you're the same or if that's not an issue for you, then by all means, do get the top because I do like it a lot. I did take the pads out of it um, after I tried it on, but I do like it a lot and I will be using it for working out and I likely won't wear it out and about in real life though. I will only exclusively use it for working out, but it is a really nice top though, I will say. If your back is not something that you're worried about, then I think this is a really, really lovely top. I like the fact that it has that cutout right there. It's a little bit different from what you normally see. So this last piece is one where I'm like, ooh, girl, what were you thinking? But 
Let me go ahead and talk to you about the piece and then I'll tell you how I plan on wearing it. This piece is a little red number that has a fully open back. It's all ties in the back. And so that means that wearing a bra is just a no for this particular dress. It has a really nice stretch to it. I do like the fabric because it is thin. It is going to be very cooling. It is actually kind of, it is pretty cool to the touch. And it has a very, 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 very skinny ribbing on it, but it is quite stretchy. And I feel that it is, maybe it's not see-through necessarily, but you could definitely see all of the lumps and bumps, um, you know, cellulite and things like that. You will be able to see that. I'm wearing a short with this dress because I knew that it was going to be very very clingy and I didn't want everything to show. Just know that any kind of shapewear though is going to show up on the back because the back is so open and it does go a little bit lower. It's adjustable in the sense that you can pull on those ties to close things up and tighten things up which I did but there's still going to be some exposure happening with this dress. How I intend on wearing this though is this is going to be lounge wear for me. And I'm not mad at it in the least bit because I believe that you should invest in loungewear as much as you invest in your clothing for your closet. Because even though you are not going anywhere, even though you're at home, you deserve to get yourself something that looks beautiful, that feels good, that you can wear without having to worry about anybody seeing you and that is just really super comfortable and that's what this dress is i can totally wear this during the summer when i'm you know putzing about in the yard or you know cooking or doing whatever i need to do especially because well for me um, I don't have air conditioning in my home because we're not hot that often, but we do have every, maybe for three or four weeks, we get temperatures in the upper eighties. And so this dress is perfect for that because the fabric is very breathable. It's made of that kind of like athleisure, athletic wear kind of fabric that Halara uses for all of their pieces. And so it, this is a beautiful piece of lounge wear for me to wear during the warmer months. And I'm going to. I have no problems wearing this at home, being comfortable in my own house. And if I want to feel a little sexy in my own house, then what's wrong with that? There is nothing wrong with that. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you can't feel sexy, right? So that's how I plan on wearing this particular dress because it is very, very cute. I do like it a lot. I just can't see myself wearing it out because it exposes just a little bit too much on the backside, but still gorgeous little dress. Now, if you do want to wear this dress out and about, what you can do is you could wear a lightweight cardigan over it. You could wear a blazer over it. Um, you can cover up the back in a lot of creative ways. So that's not to say that you can never wear this dress out. There are a lot of ways that you could style this particular dress without having to worry so much about the backside being open. You could even wear your regular bra with it if you're going to be wearing something over it anyway. I really love Halara. I think that they've got a lot of really beautiful things, especially when it comes to active wear. I think that that's really where they shine and they've got so many wonderful pieces. So if you're looking for something cute to wear while being active, then Halara is definitely a place to look. It has become my favorite for any kind of workout wear. I think that it is so good and it is really comfortable and I love wearing my Halara stuff for working out because I feel pretty, I'm comfortable. Thank you to Halara for sponsoring this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Remember that I will have all of the links to everything that I'm showing here in the description bar down below and also as a pinned comment on this video. I'm gonna leave you with my latest Halara video right here so you can check out the stuff that I brought in in the first try on review from them. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you in that video. Bye. If you want to